Now I know you guys are wondering, Cash, how come you don't use more eggs? Well, as y'all can tell, I only have one egg left, so I had to use that one egg and just mix uh, a lot more egg white with it. I usually use about three eggs, so uh, yee. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm in a rush right now. I got to eat this breakfast right here. This is what I typically eat every morning. A little bit more eggs, and I got my toast over there in the toaster. This is every morning right here, so um, I gotta eat this right here and drink this right here fast because I got a hair appointment inside my apartment, so um, see you guys as I get done. Yo, what is good everybody? We got a special video for you guys, so you guys have been asking cash. Let me see your diet. What do you do every single day? Basically, right? So what I'm going to show you guys today, man, just me, just what I eat from when I got up, the breakfast. I mean, when I go to grocery stores, just my everyday activity, you know, I'll be snacking on things. I just want to show you guys that I'm not a robot, man, like I'm human. But the things I do is, is like, I'm very consistent, y'all, with working out and my diet. Um, and it's just an everyday thing. So today is a weekend. Today's one of my cheat days. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys what I eat, like typically on the weekend. Um, it's still, it's not as bad as a, the weekday. It's not bad at all. Like my body used to it now, y'all, like, just look at my fridge, y'all. Like fruit, turkey, cheese, bison meat. I mean, got salad back there. I mean, I love my fruit. I substitute my sweets for my fruit. Uh, and just, I mean, protein shake. I got a plant-based protein shake uh, in there. This right here is what I do every single morning. Uh, I do take, like, if I'm not taking this right here, I, I probably take like some of this right here, uh, probably uh, before I go to sleep, uh, protein shake. But you know, like, I'll just drink probably one of them Evolved protein shakes I show you guys, man, at Plant Based. I take flaxseed oil, uh, I take some vitamin D3, uh, and I take some uh, Papia enzymes, this right here to help with the digestion. This is all I take, man. This is all the supplements right here I take, y'all. Um, now, I do take pre-workout, but I'm not gonna show you guys my pre-workout because it's subjective to any person. Some people get sick off it. So, you know, some people just like caffeine, uh, probably sugar-free uh, energy drink, you know, but I like, you know, just pre-workout because I, I, like, I like the way it make me feel, that jittery feel. So today, regular Saturday, I'm not gonna film with Flight at the gym. So we got, I'm sure you got a little bit of that, but I got a full video with Flight, workout video that's coming out. Uh, I do work out on weekends. Sometimes I take the Sundays off. It depends on my rest day, what I got going on. I'm just gonna show you guys my everyday in life, man. Uh, I'm sure you got a little bit of camera over here. This is, you know, it's, it ain't not really too much, man. Got a lot of, you know, peanut butter, you know, cashews. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna break right here when I'm gone. I like snacking on cashews. This is sometimes my snacks right here, y'all. Some natural valley. You know, I, everything I eat, basically, it got some type of nutritional value. You know, like honey, I, I'll take it like a little. Every day I wake up, I take a little spoonful of it. Simple, y'all. Like, my day just simple, just consistent, man. So let's go and get to it, man. Sure you got a day in life for me. All right, guys, so I forgot to mention to you guys, <laughs> wear like water. I always drink water all the time, y'all. Um, a lot of you guys be having trouble like losing weight, and the first thing you guys need to check, bro, is your liquids, man. A lot of you guys like drinking Sprite, uh, drinking stuff with a lot of sugar, Powerade, Gatorade, all type of things you see on commercials. You see athletes actually out there uh, showcasing. But in actuality, they not really drinking it themselves, bro. Let's think about it. You think you gonna see LeBron James drinking Sprite all day? You think you can have a six pack? Hell nah. He can have an acne everywhere and everything, man. Some people body react like that. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of tip, man. If a lot of you guys just start trying to lose weight, right? And you gonna think, oh, drink a lot of water. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a lot of water weight. In actuality, if you drink a lot of water, you're actually gonna lose a lot of water weight because what goes on is that your body stays in survival mode. So your body is gonna always hold a lot of water because you're not drinking a lot. But when you train your body to actually know that it's gonna get a lot of water every single day, it actually not gonna keep the uh, water weight on your body. So you're actually gonna be losing weight. That's why you guys see a lot of people their first month working out with a trainer, they lose a lot of weight because they got rid of their water weight. They drink a lot of liquid, man. Stay hydrated. So guys, uh, we about to head to the weight room. I see my boy McQueen out there. He still owe me a pair of shoes from last time I beat him in 1v1. So I'm not gonna confront my shoes. Where my shoes at, bro? <laughs> What's up, dog? Good, bro. Good, man. 
right, y'all, so we out here in Ghost. We got my boy Flight right here. They do Flight Crew, FTC. Flight Team, stand up. That's for a whole nother video. We, we, we do the intro yet, though. We about to do work on y'all. We about to go do some chess. My boy, my boy I see you, you talking about you doing dumbbells and stuff, right? Yeah, man. All right. Me. So we can do some dumbbell workout, y'all. Uh, I did take some pre-workout, y'all. And just for me, you know, I bet I got to sleep last night. But uh, like I said, man, I don't like to show you guys what type of pre-workout you use because it's so subjective. Some people's bodies react different towards it. Some people don't even like it. Some people do like caffeine. But I get this hard workout in, um, and I'll see you guys after the workout. All right, guys, so we just got done working on a flight. That video right there is going to be funny, but very educational. You think it's a good video for flight, man? Yeah, that was a good video. And man, just helping him out with the foundation, the basics of weightlifting. Hopefully he stick to it. Um, just got done working out, but this right here is something that I'll buy like right after a workout. I usually eat a meal prior to working out, but um, I ain't have enough time today, so I'm just eating a little snack. Basically some protein, all right? I don't sit here and measure, oh God, nutrition value. I probably go for the same as calories it is and the same as protein I'm getting, man. About to head to grocery store, show you guys what I'm gonna cook. And uh, go from there. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we at the grocery store. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of stuff why I be purchasing when I go here, man. I like to always like cook my own meals. You can't, you know, have pre meals. I do got pre meals in my fridge. So I got some shrimp right here, y'all. We about to go grab some uh, steak. For you guys out there who trying to stay lean, bro? Ground turkey, bro. That's the best thing for you. Best option, man. It don't have as much flavor as beef, but beef got fat. <laughs> fat is basic flavor, man. I ain't gonna lie. I do need my fat too, man. But um, it get the job done, man. This will do right here. Flat iron steak. And I also like to get my stuff like fresh, man. Like, like my seafood, I always try to stick to fresh, man. I don't like getting stuff like already pre-packaged, you know, that come from, uh, you know, companies. This right here, basically, you can see it's farm raised right here, man. It's just, it's just more fresh, man. Chicken. chicken is super important for the diet, y'all. I'm not eating chicken today, but uh, protein-wise, man, chicken. And I don't even eat, like, pork, y'all. I don't eat pork, but I substitute that for turkey bacon. Turkey bacon, good protein in here. Like, I just look for gains, y'all. <laughs> I don't really eat anything that really don't, I can't get no type of supplement value from it, bro. It's just, I just how I program myself, man. It, take, it takes bigger steps, y'all, but eventually you're gonna get to that point. This right here is something good I've been getting right here too, y'all. Like, so let's say I'm on the road or whatever it is. I like to get some of these right here, these portable protein packs. They come with cashews, your nuts, they come with some ham, and I, I'm addicted to the cheese, man. I, I love I love the taste of cheese, man. We'll get a couple of these right here, man. So I'm gonna put you guys some game right here too. Excuse me. Orange juice. What did they say, man? 100%, right? 100% juice, everybody be like, oh God, 100% juice, this is good, this, this is fresh to squeeze. From concentrate. No, this is basically fake orange juice, y'all. Like, this, this is not what you need right here. I do drink almond milk, I do substitute it for milk. Um, I'm just going around, just, and, and that part of my mind where I got some knowledge on, I put you guys some beans, bro. Bananas, I always eat at least one banana a day. Really good for you, especially. I do eat broccoli, I do eat my greens. It's crazy because when I was young, I used to never eat greens, but it's like, the more I educated myself about greens, bro, it's like, that's actually the best mood to go to. I might go to, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, I might go vegan for a week. <laughs> for a challenge, for a week. I love meat too much though, bro, like I just, like spilling meat, bro. Two week vegan challenge, come on. I'm thinking about buying meat, but I love meat so much, bro. Like, you don't even know, bro, like I can, Massage meat all day, bro. Ain't like a beat. Oh. The meat. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Let's see what else. Sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh. That's a must to y'all diet, bro. Add sweet potatoes in y'all diet, bro. Delicious with some brown sugar. You can get organic brown sugar. But just tad bit, that thing hit different, man. Love my grapes. You do love your grapes. Love my grapes, dog. Come on, man. I wouldn't be black on like no watermelon, man. I wouldn't have my watermelon that, man. I'm not gonna have back. A few moments later. I wouldn't be black if I ain't get my watermelon. <laughs> and of course, the most underrated fruit, <sighs> kiwi. Probably the best fruit to be true with y'all. 
Green onions, bro. That flavor, man. Need that. I got food at the crib, y'all, but this is just something that I just sometimes just pick up randomly. I cook up my own meals. If, like again, I say, if I don't use the pre meals I got in the fridge. I'm gonna walk down some aisles, see anything from the top of my head. I put you guys some game on, bro. Do not eat this right here, man. All right, do not. You basically killing your games, dog. It's all about games, bro. What do you got that? Life. What's life about, right? Games. I hate to be a douchebag and say that, but you don't want to sit here and be the exact same person you was yesterday. You got a game, you know what I mean? Mentally, spiritually. <laughs> Yeah, physically. It's all about the games, y'all. Like, it's just facts, bro. Working on changing my life, man. Made me so much of a confident person. You got to see the way I talk. I mean, bro, it's just my skin look better. I mean, like, my hygiene better. It just, I feel like I'm more efficient. That's the first thing, man. Like, it's kind of like I, I started self-investment in myself, and I started being more <clears throat> efficient within myself. It's kind of like, you know, if you invest within a car, right? You keep putting new parts on it, what's gonna happen? The car gonna run better. It's just like with your body, man. You know, it's all about efficiency. That's why LeBron James is the GOAT. More efficient than Michael Jordan and Kobe. It's facts. Let me tell you guys something about milk, bro, all right? I hate milk. I'm gonna tell you guys, all right? When, we went, when I was in school, they used to always like preach milk is the number one thing for stronger bones and everything like that. The research came out, they actually found out that it really wasn't. In some cases, it is the complete opposite, right? And the people who was allergic to it, we made them people look bad as if like it's wrong being lactose intolerant. Guys, think about it right here, bro, right? So when you are uh, an infant, right? And you sucking on your mama titties, right? Be real, right? What? Yeah, we all yeah we all did that. Yeah, that was kind of weird, but uh, yeah. Shout out to my mom watching the video right now. But yeah, like I was saying, think about it right here, y'all. Right? So naturally, you know, when you're born, you know, you, you suck on your mama nipples, right? And then she start pre uh, producing milk, right? Well, how come us humans we trying to to find a way to continue to make milk? You feel me? You feel me covering with that, Kenny? Yeah. Like, if naturally we're not supposed to always, you know, ingest it our whole lives, then how come we try to do that with cows? You know what I mean? Like, we basically manufacturing cows, as crazy as that sound, we manufacturing cows to produce milk at a surplus, right? You're not supposed to have that much milk naturally, bro. You know, that's how, that's how I go by it, man. That's my philosophy. Yeah, peanut butter. I got a lot of peanut butter, y'all. I stick peanut butter, bro. Real good protein in here. It's all about the games, like I'm telling y'all, but you gotta try to lose weight. You wanna you don't wanna get to the uh to the peanut butter man. You wanna like lay off because it is fattening too. Uh but uh I got fat metabolism. For my fat metabolism guys out there, peanut butter is your best friend. Believe that. I always get the extra crunchy. Even though you got some process and a lot of uh artificial sugar in there. Bread. See the bread I always stick to. I know it's weird, y'all. You gotta be surprised. People care about what I'll eat every single day and how I eat it. I might show y'all how, how I put it out my booty too. I hope so. Yeah. This is a beer that I always use right here, y'all. Honey wheat. Um, it's my favorite. Oil. Um, when I cook my food, uh, I'm not really too big about the oil thing. It's, I use like olive oil. You know, it's it, it's it's like I say. You know, I'm not really. I'm not. It's a lifestyle for me, y'all, right? If every day I'll come in here and I just, oh, I gotta sit here look at my macros, bro. Oh, I gotta measure how much I'm eating, whatever it is, bro. It, like, life wouldn't be fun, bro. You know, like, life would be miserable at that point, bro. You know, I like to have, like, a, a lifestyle to where I can continue to do this every single day and actually, you know, enjoy it. And how my mind work is, even though today, like, when I cheat, I always cheat uh, on the uh, weekends. And today's a weekend. How I do is I train myself, like I give myself an award. Like throughout the whole week I eat clean and then I give myself a award. Okay, you know what, Friday come and Saturday come. I can have that milkshake. I can do this right here on these days right here. So that way I'm, I'm always like, I always got to go back my mind. I'm always trying to fight it and chase it. Yogurt good, especially Greek. Not Danimals. Shout out to Jezza, man. Not no Danimals, man. I see some people talk about, oh, well, fruit, like, bro, you gotta make it smoothies, bro. Grab these right here, man. They're just as good. If anything, they cheaper, bro. They, they are just as good as the ones you get over there. Um, and produce, bro. Trust me. All right here. You need to skip this right here, bro. All right here, man. 
It's all fat, then, bro. It's all fat. What I would do every morning, just about if I don't feel like cooking, or throughout the night. My favorite one, dog. Meat love is Jimmy Dean, bro. 20 grams of protein. Look at them gains. 500 calories. All my people out there, you suffering gaining weight, bro? Cop these. Cop them. It's going to save you. Date me later. Bro, this is 1,000 calories just about just, just the two right here. All you need to eat, really, man, just if you're losing weight, you always going to be in a calorie deficit, right? So if I'm, I know naturally I burn, let's say, 600 calories, right? And I ate 500 calories, right? You always got to look at it like if you're losing weight, you always got to look at everything like in a calorie deficit, man. If I burn 500 naturally and I, well, let's say I burn 500 naturally and I ate 600 calories, right? That's 100 calories I have gained that day for my people who are just gaining. But let's say if I naturally burn 500 and I uh, ate 400, right? That means I lost calories, so I lost weight for tomorrow. That's the way you guys gotta look at it, man. This right here, all bad for you, dog. Do not, do not leave this right here alone. You don't need this. I go down here to the liquids. All right, this is what's killing y'all right here. It killed me. Back when I had a lot of acne, acne on my back, bad hygiene, teeth yellow, holes in my teeth. This is, what, where, where is she at, bro? Her right here. About to do. Killer. You guys gotta stop drinking this sugar, bro. You guys are basically drinking liquid poison. I'm keeping the trip with y'all, bro. And it's for all my people out there, man. Sugar is just addictive ass cigarettes, man. If not worse, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. A whole lot of people are obese and everything like that, bro. Because of this sugar, bro. You gotta be surprised, man. You cut the sugar out in your, in your uh, one month, bro. You'll feel better. You'll look better. All right, y'all, so we cooking it up right here, y'all. Uh, this is the butter I use right here. I use soy free Earth Balance. You could use regular butter, y'all. Uh, it's just that, you know, I, I just, I don't like soy, man. You do a lot of research on soy. Actually, bad for us males. But this is the what I'm cooking. Got the shrimp right here with the green onions. Got the steak right here. I just chopped it up. And uh, we just gonna cook it up right here, man. I'm gonna show you guys the end product. Got a banana right here. About to uh, chow down this right here. And uh, I'm going to drink one of these shakes right here and uh, eat this meal right here. So we'd be probably like at, I say probably like at two or three thousand calories around there after eating all this right here for today. I'm still going to eat more. I'm sure you guys my top fridge right here. So like late night, I come in here, probably grab me one of these right here. Like I told you guys, these are cheap meals. I'm telling you. Got cheese in there for some of you guys who don't like cheese. You got to deal with it. Uh, these right here some meal preps, man. You know, you can got you can get meal prep from like any website, y'all. I'm not sponsored by any, so that's why I'm not showing you guys the name or anything like that. But you can easily go out there and find uh, easy ones uh, if you got the money for it. If you don't got the money for it, you know, you bulk down, just make your own meal prep. So uh, this is all I got right here, man. Uh, show you guys what I'm gonna eat after this. All right, guys. So this right here, what I'm eating right here. Got my steak. Got my shrimp. Uh, sometimes I put like some salads with it. This depends how I feel after I get done eating this way. I'm feel full or not. Got some watermelon right here, man. Gonna eat that as um, my fruit. And uh, yeah, like I say, this is about it's about like seven o'clock right now. I'm probably gonna eat this right here. I'm probably gonna eat one more meal up in here, and uh, probably a jelly <laughs> bread and peanut butter sandwich. And uh, yeah, they could be the end for the night, man. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna let you guys see everything after that, man. So, I just got to eat my steak, y'all. Uh, ate two slices of that watermelon. About to have me a protein shake right quick. Getting these calories right here, man. But well, good calories, man, good calories. Don't be getting no milk-based uh, protein shakes either, y'all. You feel me? Two scoops. This right here is the best tasting one I ever tasted. Chocolate, uh, fudge, it tastes just close as possible. Some of them be tasting like straight trash, but this right here, man, I must say, is one of my favorite ones right here, if not my favorite. Um, I don't promote the stuff, man, but I'm just saying that if you guys got some bad tasting ones, this one right here and my uh, plant basin right here, it get the job done, man, and it tastes good. So I'm gonna kill this right here about the course of videos with Kenny behind the camera. And uh, see you guys. 
after that. All right, y'all, so that right there is my day in the life of just what I do on just my average day, man. The things I ate, uh, went to the grocery store, put you guys some game. I know I'm probably missing some things, and I'm, I'm not perfect, y'all, all right? I'm just trying to, like, put it to you guys, bro. Like, the fitness life is... It's, it's steps to it, man. You just not gonna wake up the next day to be a bodybuilder or just have muscles, veins, vasculin, and all this stuff right here, man. It's a process, man. And, and it's just about just starting yesterday. When I mean by that, like, your actions, man. You gotta just set yourself up for success just by counseling out the sugars, the bad habits, and all this stuff right here, man. I put you guys on some games, some jewels. I got some more for you guys. Just let me know what you guys want. Uh, I got some more videos this whole month right here, man. A whole lot more fitness videos. I told you guys I'm gonna start doing a whole lot more fitness videos on the channel here, and just a lot more vlogs, challenges, food challenges, stuff like that. Second channel gonna be just a gaming channel, and probably you know reactions. Hope you guys have a fantastic 2020. Uh, go out there, strive for greatness, and uh, stay fit. We out to stay. Yeet.